All right, well, hello. I'm gonna take my mask off so that all you know that we've been practicing really good social distancing and personal protective equipment uh, protocols. My name is Ralph Lucas. I am an operations section chief uh, with Incident Management Team 2, which covers the southwestern United States. And then when our wildland season is over, we travel up into other regions within the United States. We're currently on the Wood Springs 2 fire. It is the second largest fire in uh, Navajo Nation history. It is approximately about 12,000 acres. At this time, it is uh, fully suppressed, 97% contained. And we are in the process of winding down and uh, letting resources go to other fires. In the southwestern United States, we have the earliest fire season of the year out of um, all of the United States. So one of the things that we've been talking about is putting together these large groups of firefighters and how we can mitigate or manage some of the issues as it relates to the COVID uh, issue. So teams have been assigning one of their operations section chiefs as a medical COVID officer. Uh, that person is designated to deal with the COVID issues that exist uh, on a fire. I reached out to the local community uh, and regional partners to see what kind of support uh, we could get in the event that we had a COVID case or somebody that was symptomatic. And what that has resulted in is our ability as a fire team and in conjunction with Sehotso Medical Center, uh, putting together a testing opportunity for those firefighters that so choose or voluntarily wish to be tested. This organization has been able to put together a full setup in two locations, one location up near the fire and one location at our incident command post at uh, Window Rock High School. To date, I would estimate that we've been able to test uh, over 200 of our firefighters, giving us a really, really good indication of whether or not our practices and protocols as it relates to COVID are working. And it also has been able to identify any cases that we need to take care of. We have worked with other agencies in the event that we have a positive case so that we can get people isolated and have them provided for uh, with lodging, food, and uh, other, other necessities, as well as connecting them with Sehutsu Medical Center as far as the uh, public health aspect and getting them well and back out on the road. I will let you know that this experience is uh, being looked at by uh, a lot of wildland agencies. Um, we are kind of writing the book here on this issue and we're proud of that. From the bottom of my heart, um, I really didn't know a lot about what was going to occur during this experience, but uh, the relationships and support and how far it's gone in the Navajo Nation and elsewhere uh, has turned out to be a fantastic experience. Uh, we thank you. Uh, we, we appreciate you taking care of our firefighters. Um, and we feel comfortable with the way this has been handled that we can send our firefighters back home or onto the next fire and we're not spreading uh, this virus amongst ourselves to our families to our friends and to our loved ones okay so in closing uh, just what i'd like to say is just like uh, we were able to come and uh, contain this fire uh, one lesson that i'd like to learning lesson that i'd like to leave all of you is is we contain the fire here and I would just simply ask that you do the same in containing this virus and it's an all hands on job and just follow the directives and protocols that are being given to you and hopefully we can all get through this.